Hello everybody and welcome another strategies, tactics and boost show uh, is on its way, has just begun and we have a new event uh, this week, we have the second team series event uh, and it's all about Haas team, uh, so as you can imagine Magnussen and Halkenberg are our two boosted drivers. First of all, I hope that last week our videos helped you to get into the final and then uh, to get uh, to get to uh, good positions in uh, the final. And this is what we are going to try to do again. Uh, for uh, this week starting from of course the qualifying round uh, the qualifying round of the Haas team series and we're going to see the tracks we are racing uh, from Wednesday until Friday so as you can see we start with Barcelona, then we travel uh, to uh, Netherlands, Zandvoort, third race, third track, Hungary, and finally qualifying round ends with a race in Suzuka. As you can see, the last two tracks, Hungary and Japan, Hungary with a very small chance of raining, but Suzuka with a high chance of raining. So keep that in mind. Uh, we are not going to have uh, problems with our uh, with our uh, tire uh, degradation because, as you can see, uh, our temperatures don't exceed 30 degrees Celsius. So. Uh, we are okay uh, with our tires at least for the qualifying round okay so now let's get aha uh -huh, of course always the same you know what i forget, always forget to get so um let's get started with our first track which is uh, Barcelona, we raced a lot in Barcelona uh, the last weeks, the last few weeks, but uh, this made our uh... give me one moment okay um, this makes our uh, strategies even more secure to follow so spain may be a combo track mostly as i say uh, a, a cornering track uh, sectors two and three very slow uh, lots of corners so mainly we choose double Cuba, hook herald kavai you know jean uh, prince but of course we can use a uh, combo boost to uh, combo boost too so let's start uh, if we are at the back i will say it one more and i will say it a lot of times because it's something we have started last week as you can see uh, at the top of uh, our slides you can see next to the name of the track uh, it's written back middle this means uh, this strategy is for those of us that start at the back or uh, at the middle uh, of the grid okay so and goes on for every slide so uh, keep that in mind and don't forget it okay if we are at the back or in the middle of the grid it is a little bit a slow uh, strategy but it's not a bad strategy it's a good strategy 5-3 hard soft 
HR because of the uh, tire management. This is why, uh, of, because of the tire management and uh, the cornering. Koopa, of course, for the very good uh, cornering and a race start. Uh, Merlion as a combo boost and Prince again uh, very good in cornering and race start. Now, one of the best strategies for maybe the best strategy for wherever you are in the grid is this one 4 4 both stints with medium. Okay, if you, if you struggle. Uh, doing four laps with a medium, then do the first stint only with mediums, charge your power unit, and then second stint with hards, so you can use uh, your charged power unit and be uh, quick, as you can see, uh, be fast, as you can see here again, a combo boost like Merlion or Tunin, and cornering boosts and uh, restart boosts, and Barcelona is a very uh it's a track is a track that uh we can do very good race uh, race starts uh, it favors uh drivers and boosts with good race start so this is why uh we keep uh we keep choosing uh boosts like that Now, if you are in the middle or at the top of the grid, then 3-3-2 um, and of course 2-3-3 three, three, or 3-2-3, three, three, it, uh, it depends on uh, it depends on, on our start mainly, but we can do both drivers with softs, two pit stops especially if we are in the, uh, at the top of the grid. Um, so, 3-3-2 uh, and 2-3-3 or 3-2-3 uh, easily done. Uh, of course, sometimes we have to see Movember a very good, uh, a very good, although we don't need uh, so much um, tire boosting that Movember will give us but this 10 in uh, in cornering is very useful here in uh, Spain and let's get to our second track which is Netherlands Zandvoort uh, for those of you that have seen my uh my last gp my live streams you have seen if you are uh concentrated in the track in the race um until the end of the race how easy it seems it's not so easy uh you have to be uh, very concentrated and do and do everything at the time it's uh, it should uh, it should start and where to uh, conserve when to push when to go on yellow it's a track that needs a lot of work but if you do it correctly you can start p16 and and p1 p2 uh, you have seen it we have done it so uh, it's not something like okay you do it because no we started i believe 14 and 16th and we ended up 1 3 something like that it's uh, if you do it correctly if you follow the strategy correctly uh step by step then you can get lots of points in this track absolutely uh nothing changed since last time 4-3 medium soft probably Koopa the best choice uh, I believe we went with double Koopa last uh, time and soft medium I usually uh, go soft medium for the driver that is in the highest uh, position and medium soft for my driver 
uh, with the lowest starting position. Both of them, Koopa, but of course, Hook, Herald. You can easily uh, choose uh, some of uh, these uh, boosts. Use boosts with good race start because Zandvoort is another track uh, that uh, favors good race, good uh, race starts. So a boost like Herald, who as we see has 10 in race start and helps in overtaking, as you can see here, and some uh, and of course cornering because Zandvoort is a full cornering uh, track. If you have a lot of Herald, I don't and I keep them for a rainy day. Uh, so if uh, you have lots of uh, Herald, use it. It's a great, a great, great um, boost, especially in tracks where a good race start uh, is, uh, is very easy to do. So, uh, and there are tracks that favors um, good uh, race starts like Barcelona, like Bahrain, like Zandvoort. Uh, if I remember well, Japan is one of them. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about them again and again in all our videos. Okay, and that's it for Netherlands. Let me tell you uh, just this you can see it in my videos how to race in uh in zandvoort but in uh, the end of sector three the yellow sector and the beginning of sector one the red sector the big straight we conserve to recharge our power unit and at the end of sector one you see uh, the corners three four five uh six and seven the beginning of sector two all this uh it's like a wave we conserve there too so we recharge we don't have any other uh, spots to conserve maybe we could do it uh, after cor uh, corner 10 but uh we conserve in these two uh parts of the track and then after corner 7, we push the red button until mainly a little bit before corner 11, there we stop and leave it uh, on yellow to get at the top of uh, the straight and then again conserve and this is how it goes for both cars all 7 laps so it needs to be uh we need to be a little bit concentrated but it works uh you can do magic with this so try it and if you want to see it, how it's done go to my uh gp videos my live streaming and you will see uh, uh at least two times last uh in the last gp we raced uh successfully in netherlands our third track with a small percent uh, chance of raining is uh, Hungary. I don't remember if we had Hungary again in a GP this season, but okay, as you can see, it's a, couple, a complete cornering um, track. We only have one big straight at uh, in front of the pit lane. So, First strategy, if we are at the back or in the middle of the grid, 5-3 again, but this time medium soft, Hungary is not uh, so um, tire hungry, let's say, uh, I don't know if, if there is a, such an expression, but we can do five laps with medium uh, easily. Uh, okay, if you have very bad tire management maybe you will need hards but i believe everybody can do mediums five three 
you can see Merlion and tune in here because of the big straight and only for that and for those who like to take advantage of that straight this is why uh, you see um, I'm choosing to uh, propose to you uh, give a chance to Merlion which is a very good um, a very very good boost we have said that more than enough times I believe but again in Hungary I would really like a starting a, a, a race starting boost uh, you can do good uh, race starts uh, your opening lap can be good, uh, great and gain a lot lots of positions so Koopa, Prince, Herald, Hook, all these, you know, uh, very good um, choices for this track. Okay, and of course, again, if we are in the back or in the middle of the grid, 3 5, the exactly opposite. Uh, strategy soft medium here as you know because i want to be able uh, to push in my second stint i would mainly choose char or november in order to have some tire management now one of the best strategies again this season for trucks like hungary is 4-4 with mediums Maybe we can do for the first thing with softs. If you have very good tire management, first thing with softs, no pushing, just recharging, second thing with medium, fully charged power unit, and very aggressive in our second stint. Uh, now, if we can't do this, medium, medium is just fine and will do the work and of course this strategy is for wherever we are in uh wherever we start in uh in the grid and of course as always when we are at the top of uh, the grid two pit stops only softs maybe you can consider this strategy if you are in the middle of the grid too I have tried it, it works, it has some difficulties, but it works, but if you are at the top of the grid, for sure, go with softs, two pit, two pit stops, the pit lane in um, Hungary is, uh, is not time consuming, so easily you can do two pit stops, softs are very fast, uh, and uh, of course, if you are P1, P2, P3, uh, you can make, uh, you can gain, uh, you can make the gap you need to have one uh, more free pit stop uh, than all the others will do. Uh, okay, now, if it rains, we forget, if it rains, we forget two pit stops, we are only uh, choosing strategies with one pit stop because we don't have a fast compound to gain uh, to gain some uh, meters to gain some time and do uh, two pit stops so five three four four and three five our choices uh, for this uh, give me one second okay so uh <laughs> this is funny forget what you're seeing <laughs> okay uh this is a mistake of mine because i forgot i forgot to change uh the boost uh when it's wet so just keep in mind what you saw here the same boost uh we are <laughs> we are going to use uh, in rain, 4-4, four, 3-5, four, and 5-3, we are using the same uh, boosts 
when it rains okay that was a good one i have to go and change it and let's go to our final track which is uh, Japan in Japan Suzuka okay we had some misses we had some good results and some uh, difficult races here it is a cornering uh, track a cornering track so this is how we are going to uh, approach this and 4-3 hard medium if we are in the back or in the middle of the grid and 3-4 medium hard this strategy if we are from wherever we are in the track back middle or top of the grid is a very good uh, choice and if we are at the top of the grid and maybe just maybe in the middle of the grid but not it's going to be risky if we are in the middle of the grid maybe if we are p10 yes we can choose this but p14 p no i don't think so so um and we are yes two pit stops first stint we push a lot second stint we just conserve and go on yellow so we recharge our power unit so we can be aggressive in our third stint we have seen it 232 all softs uh the medium uh, stint um, very passive a lot of uh, conserving uh, so we are even more aggressive in our in our last two laps with softs and a full power unit I would stick with this, but I will uh, consider 232 all softs. Um, seriously consider uh, this. It it works. I have been beaten by this strategy, uh, but if I don't try it myself, I'm not going to be 100% sure. So, okay, just think about it. Maybe it's an, a good alternative. So uh now if it rains there is no uh two pit stops nothing it's only one pit stop four three and three four uh for wherever we are in the grid and as i say always when we uh when we are uh in uh when we are racing in the rain what I always say is that we don't have the advantage of using a faster compound uh, from the rest of uh, the drivers, so we cannot uh, rely on being faster because of our compound and gain some time and do uh, one more pit stop. No. We all have wets, we know that wets are like more, more or less are like hearts so the less pit stops we do the better 3-4 and 4-3 for Japan will uh, do the trick so let's see again our tracks Barcelona Sanford Hungary and Japan Suzuka for our qualifying round. So that's it for uh, today. That's it for uh, the qualifying round. Uh, I hope you find uh, you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish everybody great results and get let's get all together. Uh, qualify for this uh, racing weekend and of course make the best use of my next strategies tactics and boosts video so stay tuned smash uh, the like button and see you next time bye everybody <laughs>